All right, back on the morning brew. I, I was just telling uh, the guys here that we need to, need to recut that intro with a beer glass for <laughs> just such an occasion. Our, uh, our special guest uh, this morning, it is food day, and it's time to check your local IQ. All right, uh, local IQ magazine food writer, Justin De La Rosa is here. Hi, Justin. How's it going? Good. We persuaded Ted to stay because beer and food. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And it's like we said last week, we talked about beer a little bit too much in the morning, and now it's here with us. So <laughs> Indeed. It's great. It works. It works. We're, we are going to talk a little food first. And Aaron? So we have the new local IQ out that just came out like, yesterday, and you have the new restaurant report. So yep. better than you, nobody else better than you to talk about some new restaurants. So tell us a little bit about absolutely um, what's happening yeah um with our new uh it's the new restaurant report so basically what we're doing is we're just kind of telling you like what the new places are around town yeah and uh you know we it's not just limited to you know just in places you go for dinner we also talk about our brunch spots mm -hmm. we talk about santa fe a little bit uh -huh. um and you know some of the standout places you know with the with the brunch place or, or brunch spots um that are my favorites, I would say, are, uh, you know, we had the Grove on there, we had Slate uh -huh. Street Cafe, uh -huh. and of course, Farm and Table, which we've talked about a yes. couple times before. So, um, Slate Street's kind of hidden away. Nobody really knows much about it. Yeah, you know, Slate Street's really cool. You know, it's just kind of, it's on a neighborhood street pretty much, right, right. right there behind the courthouse. Um, you know, a little bit unassuming. But, you know, yes. it is, you know, just kind of tucked away back there. And that's, I think I like that's that a little place. bit of the allure of it. Yeah. It's just having, you know. Right. It's your own hidden little yeah. spot mm -hmm. to go to. Yeah, absolutely. That's fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Got a few images, too. We got, um, we got one of a delicious looking hot dog. And this is from yeah. Urban Dog, right? Uh, Urban Hot Dog Company. Yeah. yeah. And that's out on the west side, which, I mean, you know. That normally dog, that's yeah, not that like the good. yeah <laughs> that's not like the popping place but i mean urban hot dog is where it's at for hot dogs right just now go that's grab just... one of those go get some marble beer and you're set oh, exactly yeah. absolutely <laughs> so um you know i think i mean hot dogs are my favorite thing i, I went to 50 cent hot dog uh last oh, night last night yeah. yeah over at isotopes so oh yeah well that's yeah fun. so <laughs> so i had my my you know, fair share of hot dogs. Last night. <laughs> got a, it looks pretty good. <laughs> it does. Uh, we got a shot of a salad here. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, um, vinaigrette uh -huh. is, you know, of course, another one that we've uh, talked vinaigrette. about a lot. And I know Ted has a lot of beers that are being poured over there as well. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's just like that wonderful locavore sort of thing, you know, just going everything local, you know. And Erin Wade has her own farm where all the uh, all the ingredients come from and you know then we have our local beer there and it's just it's you know, even, great even guys who don't think they like salad can go in there and find a something really good to eat oh yeah Pretty it's, hefty it's salad. really good yeah well I mean it's it's one of those things where like a salad is no longer just a right. it's not a side item it's yeah. it's the focus of a menu focus of the meal yeah. you know and you know they they have all their different proteins. You can get any, anything from scallops to steak to chicken. Yeah, and uh, it's pretty good stuff. Yeah, it's fantastic. Now we got another uh, shot here, and we we couldn't figure out what this was. So you you would tell us this is a great plate of food. <coughs> yeah, this is uh, from Anatolia's uh, uh, Donor Kebab House, which mm. is downtown. Wow. Um, right over there on Sixth Street, uh, just north of Central. And they just do fantastic kebab. That photo is uh, that's got a little falafel, a little uh, Greek salad in there, and just nice. and it's just it's great. You know, it's a tiny little spot, and they just make the best food. I think that's kind of sometimes when the best food comes out is when you have just like this little spot where you can. I like spots. No, what, like you can hear them when they when they. Little things on the side. Uh, those are the uh, those are uh, falafel. Oh, yeah. are they? Yeah, yeah, those are. Yeah. Little balls. You ever had that before? Fried yeah. chickpea balls. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's really good stuff. Yeah, they're fantastic. Well, Absolutely. you're here on the right day. Right. Because Ted Rice is, is here. You poured a. Ted, you poured a, a, a this nice is, beer here. Yeah, what this is, is our this? double white. It's a Belgian-inspired wheat beer. It's a little bit stronger than the traditional Belgian-style wit. Mm -hmm. It's seven percent. It's intentionally uh, hazy. It's a wheat beer, and it's spiced with coriander and orange peel. Has a nice, really fragrant, floral, oh, citrusy yeah. aroma. I might have this one. <laughs> that's, that's fragrant as well, but in a hot-forward way. Yeah. Uh, this is a great food beer. Uh, works really well. Pice, 
pairing with spicy food. And um, it's uh, one of our full-time um, summer offerings. Well, is there, I mean, what type of food particular would you suggest? Um, I think uh, Indian works really well. Really? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, and then also something I want to mention, uh, this beer is going to be paired uh, tomorrow night at our food truck rumble. Oh. We're having a, uh, basically like a food truck beer dinner on, on the patio that at the, just at the brewery. That sounds fun. Yeah. yeah, so you have four <laughs> food trucks rolling up to the brewery, each um, pairing one small dish with, with a beer from the brewery. Uh, so this is going to be with a barbecue sandwich from uh, Talking Food Kitchen. And then we have the um, shrimp and grits from the supper truck with our mm. Belgian style oh. triple. They have really good shrimp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really good. And, and the, the food truck food, it's really good. It's something you would expect from a restaurant. Yeah. So how does all this work? So people come to your patio and order the beer and then walk up to the food trucks and order whatever you want. Yeah, it's basically a beer dinner for $20. Oh, oh wow. um, so, so, so buy a ticket, there's gonna be live music as well. God, that and sounds fun. It, yeah, it's going it to be kind of a carnival of, uh, of food and beer um, in the sunshine. It's going to be really nice. We should, have, yeah. we should do a field trip tomorrow. Yeah, I think you guys want to go. The... I'll meet you over on the patio. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> <It> really <laughs> sounds sound. good to me. Yeah, it starts at 4 o'clock. Fantastic. And I, I like how you're organizing all that. So you call all the food truck guys and say, hey, let's put this together. And, and you're going to do this on an ongoing basis through the summer, I guess. I, I'd like to. We always have food trucks uh, parked in front of the patio. So mm -hmm. there's there's always that opportunity for you to, to make that pairing and come out and enjoy yourself. But this is definitely an organized event where we're um, it's, it's a dinner. And it's also a competition as well. There's going to be a voting card and you can uh, vote for your favorite uh, pairing. Now, for, for those who don't get downtown much, where is Marble Brewery? Sure, Marble Brewery is located on 111 Marble Avenue on the corner of First and Marble. And you were asking earlier, like, how, how did the name Marble come about? So yes. when we were shopping for buildings to, to build this brewery, um, this is the last building we looked at that day, and it was on Marble Avenue, and we just looked, thought about it later and said, you know what? Let's just call it Marble Brewery. It was as simple as that. Uh, some breweries are based, or, uh, the name, it's named around a river or, or a yeah. town or, or a mountain. So yeah. we're, we're on a street. Easy to remember. Yeah, yeah, it flows yep. well. <laughs> and your logo That's is a little marble. So yep. with How do you like that beer, Justin? It's great. Um, this is actually one of my favorites. Um, you know, I've, I've had it a couple times before, and it, it, it just has that taste of spring and summer, you know. Yeah, it's a lighter beer. I yeah. think this uh, beer appeals to um, beer geeks and also people who um, want something that's a little bit softer as well. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of nuances, mm -hmm. but it's not uh, it's not brash. Right. Absolutely. And I, I think part of like you know beer drinking is you know for me personally I like to drink with the uh, with uh, the season you know so sure. um, you know during the winter I'm drinking more like porters and browns yeah, and darker and darker mm -hmm. beers mm -hmm. and once we get to spring and summer I you know like a it's a double, I'm sorry, is this the double white? Double white, double yes. White. Absolutely. Yeah. So like a double white, the wildflower wheat, the mm -hmm. pilsners, those mm -hmm. all um, appeal yeah. to me more uh, just with the season. Absolutely. Dark beer is probably my favorite. Is it? The, uh, what is it called? Uh, we have our oatmeal stout. Oatmeal stout, um, that's it. And then in the winter, we really turn up the volume with our uh, bourbon barrel aged imperial stout, which is around 10%. Yeah. <laughs> Those are dangerous. Yes. <laughs> they um, are, but they're good. Dangerously <laughs> delicious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, <laughs> how do you define a stout? What is that? Um, stouts can be any range of alcohol, but typically they're they're roasty and they have flavors like chocolate and, and coffee. Uh -huh. um, so they use a lot of roasted malts, and that's what gives that character of the um, those burnt flavors. Oh, yeah, fascinating. Yeah, so there are um, English style stouts, uh, Russian style imperial stouts, um, and then uh, there are American inspired stouts. They have a uh, American hop forward flavors commingling with all those roasty notes. Uh, is the IPA your best seller? Heads and shoulders, best seller. And then our uh, second close is our uh, red, which is a hop forward red. So you have all uh -huh. these dark uh, caramel malts along with the bright hop flavors as well. And then uh, third is the wildflower wheat, which is our um, American style wheat beer right. with New Mexico uh, wildflower honey. Well, this has been fun. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good day for you to be here, Justin. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. You're uh, supposed to bring us samples of food. Well, you guys got beer. Yeah, well, we got beer. <laughs> I'd, I'd say that's that. better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you want to read about all the the restaurants, uh, Justin has them covered. the The new issue is all about restaurants and good food. 
And Justin De La Rosa is the food uh, correspondent for Local IQ magazine. And Justin, thanks for being here today. Ted, thanks for hanging out and bringing thanks, us yeah, wonderful thank you beer. For bringing thanks, Aaron. Some uh, yeah, easy. Nice to be your neighbors down here <laughs> near Marble. Come Brewery. say hi. I'll give you a tour. Yeah. Pour you some samples. And that food truck dinner tonight sounds really fun. Yeah. That's tomorrow night, Wednesday. Tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Yes. Got it. Okay. okay. Ted, good to meet you. Justin, sure. thanks for being here. We'll be back in just a moment here on The Morning Brew. We're going to learn about city events coming up, including Summerfest, when we continue.